everyone. So today I'm going to be decluttering all of my eye products, eyeshadows, mascaras, eyeliners, eye primers, cream eyeshadows, everything. Now this video might be put into two parts. I might have eyeliners and mascaras in another video if this gets too long because I have so many eyeshadow products. I'm filming everything today, but I just might split it into two parts because I have that much makeup and I'm crazy. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so first we're going to go through uh, eye primers, eye bases, cream eyeshadows, cream eyeshadow sticks, all of those first. So these are all of my clearish or close to clear eye primers. So first we have the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I am definitely going to be keeping this. This is a really great eye primer. I have two of the Lorac Behind the Scenes eye primer. This one, as you can see, is the most used, and this one is brand new because I got these in palettes. Um, I'm currently using this up, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this, and I am going to be keeping this as well. A lot of people don't like the Lorac eye primer, but I actually like it personally. I don't know why. I have oily eyelids, and that just might work for me better than other people, but I don't know. I really like this eye primer. I don't think I'm going to like repurchase it, but I like using it, so I'm going to keep both of these. Next, I have the Milani eyeshadow primer in Nude. It's, it's almost a clear, but it's not. But anyways, this is a drugstore eye primer, and this is an awesome drugstore primer. This is, I think, the best drugstore eye primer that I have used so far. I know that Maybelline has just come out with new ones, so I really want to try those out. But as of right now, I have this one, and I'm really enjoying it. And it's great for drugstore tutorials, too. But I have oily eyelids, and this works really great for me. So I would highly recommend getting this eye primer. This is one of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions. And this one is in Enigma, which is limited edition. So, And I haven't used this yet because I just got it, but I am definitely going to be keeping this. And I am so glad that I found this because I thought these were gone. Enigma is basically just kind of a painterly paint pot shade, so it just kind of matches... Uh, my skin tone on my eyes. So I am very excited to use this and I love the Urban Decay Primer Potion Formula so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. And these are, uh, speaking of Urban Decay, the Eyeshadow Primer Potion samples. And so, and this came with the Naked 3 palette. So it came with four different samples. It came with Original, Eden, Sin, and the Anti-Aging one. As you can see, I have already used the original one, but I definitely want to try the other three out, so I am keeping this as well. So here I am going to be going through all of my cream eyeshadows, all of my pots and all of my sticks. So first I'm going to start with ColourPop. So these three stacks and this uh, quad are all from ColourPop, and I am going to be keeping all of these. I really like this formula of eyeshadow. They're really great. And this is the Where the Light Is from Kathleen Lights. I know that she just came out with the Where the Night Is quad. I don't think I'm going to be getting it, but I might get one of the shadows, but I'm definitely going to be keeping this. These are really pretty eyeshadows. Um, I'm keeping all of them, but I will run through all of them. So this one is in Smash, which is kind of a light brown. This is the Birthday Girl eyeshadow, and oh my gosh, I actually won this in a contest, and I was super happy to get it because it is such a beautiful color. It's kind of a sparkly brown color. It's really pretty. This one is Millionaire, which is a really, really sparkly brown color. This one is I Heart This, and I love this shadow. It is so beautiful. It's kind of a silvery neutral taupe. It is beautiful. I love this. If you were to get one ColourPop eyeshadow, this would be it. It's wonderful. Here I have Lala, which is kind of a uh, rose gold color, one of the rose gold colors that ColourPop has. And then this one is Sequin, which is another rose gold. It's just a little bit more pinkier than Lala. Then I have So Quiche, which is gorgeous. I'm going to open this one up. But it's so beautiful. It's kind of a uh, purpley green gold color. It is beautiful on the eyes, so I'm keeping that one for sure. Next here I have Cricut, which is a sparkly purple. And then the last one I have here is Bay, which I was actually really debating about getting, but a lot of people said this was beautiful. So I was like, I might as well try it because a lot of people are saying it is beautiful. But it's kind of, as you can see, like a blue-purple in certain lights. It is really beautiful. I actually haven't worn this on the eyes yet. As you can see, I've swatched it. I've swatched all of them. It's just a really beautiful color. I don't know where I could wear this because it's so dark, but it's really a gorgeous color. 
Next, I'm going to go through my eyeshadow sticks. So the first one I, we have here is from Mally, and this is one of just her plain eyeshadow sticks in Twilight, and it is kind of a pretty, like, taupey mauve color. I'll swatch it. It's just a really pretty color, and I kind of have a look in mind that I want to use this for. It doesn't last all day on me. Some people claim that they don't need an eyeshadow primer with this eyeshadow stick, but I have oily eyelids, so I definitely feel like I still need a primer underneath this. But it is really pretty, and it's very handy that it's in a stick like this, so I am going to be keeping this. Next, I have a couple of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I have French Fries and yogurt so I will swatch both of them so this is french fries and this is yogurt french fries is definitely brown and yogurt is very pretty I actually use this I actually can use both of these with my wet and wild walking on eggshells palette and I actually have a really old tutorial of me using this so I will have a clip up somewhere or link it down below um, that's a really old tutorial but I actually still use that tutorial so it's very useful so I'm definitely going to be keeping yogurt and I'm like kind of you know using it up a lot so I definitely want to try and use this up and then I'm definitely keeping french fries because I also could use that with the wet n wild uh, walking on eggshells palette so I'm going to be keeping this one as well next here I have the NYC city proof 24 hour waterproof eyeshadow crayon that is a long name I actually got this for free in my influencer box and I actually have a review on this which is the most viewed video on my channel right now so I will also have a card of this or link this down below but I didn't really like this uh, so much it is a really pretty color it's that color right there it's in the shade Tribeca taupe it looks really pretty swatched but on the eyes I just feel like it kind of looks very gray I just feel like it doesn't it swatches really pretty but on the eyes it just doesn't really transfer that well I also feel like this doesn't help with blending out eyeshadows very well again I will link the review um, somewhere up here in the card up here or down in the description box with my full review on this but I am actually going to be passing this along because I know I won't use it and I know someone else who will like this more so I'll just sanitize it and pass it on and the last cream eyeshadow stick is one I actually haven't used yet. I just got it my Birch Box. And this is from the LOC line by Tati, Tati, <laughs> Tati Westbrook from La Glam Life Guru. Oh my gosh, I can't get her name out. But she's a YouTuber and she just hit 1 million subscribers in December. So that is awesome for her. She probably is counting by the time that I put this video up. But that's just awesome for her. But she came out with this line from Birch Box. And this color is in On Point. And this is a swatch of On Point right there. It's just a beautiful champagne color. Um, I haven't tried this out, so I definitely want to try this out and see the lasting power of it. But it's just a beautiful color that I definitely can get a lot of use out of. So I am going to be keeping this as well. Next here we have all of my cream eyeshadows that are in pots. So we'll just start out with these ones. These are all from Benefit. They're from a super old holiday kit. So I really should, well actually this one isn't, but these two are. So I should toss these, but I feel like I could use these in some looks that I don't have a lot of colors for. Like this plum, like I'm not going to wear a lot of dark colors, but if I need a dark color, then I could have this. So, and this one's called Plumbing for Gold, so it's just a really pretty plum color. And even though these are super old, they're still very creamy. So that's like why I'm kind of hesitant to pass these, because they're still very creamy. And the gold, this is called Taupe Aztec. A gold eyeshadow is a really good one to have, and I don't have another gold eyeshadow like this, or gold cream eyeshadow like this. I have a lot of gold powder eyeshadows. So I feel like this could be super useful in certain looks. So... For now, I'm going to keep these two. I don't know, they are pretty old and I should pass them on, but I'm gonna keep them for now and see if I can use them maybe more. And this other one that didn't come in the holiday kit that's from Benefit, it's called Birthday Suit. And I am definitely going to be keeping this one. This one is fairly old too, but it's still super creamy and I love this color. It's just a very neutral color and you know good for every day so I'm definitely going to be keeping that for now next these are all the Maybelline ones I own so here I have barely beige which was limited edition but I think this is the same as barely branded which is permanent I'm pretty sure and as you can see I've hit pan on it so I am definitely going to continue and use this because it's just a nice sparkly 
neutral shade. This one is Bad to the Bronze, which I used in my Maybelline One Brand tutorial, which oh, I love this eyeshadow so much. I raved about it in that tutorial how much I love this eyeshadow too, but I'm definitely keeping this. It's getting old, so it's drying out, so I really want to try and use this. It's just so gorgeous. And I heard that they're coming out with these Maybelline color tattoos in crayon form. So if I don't know if they're coming out with the same colors or not, but I definitely want to try those too. These Maybelline color tattoos are an amazing formula, especially for oily eyelids. I do not need an eye primer with these. This is another limited edition one from Maybelline, and this one is in Hibiscus Heartbreak. And as you can see, I've like barely used it, but I'm going to keep it nonetheless because I do want to use it and purples look really good on me and I could you know use this for a tutorial or you know find a way to use it with some of my purple eyeshadows that I own so I'm definitely going to be keeping this and then here I have a MAC paint pot in Let's Skate and this was limited edition too I'm pretty sure but it's just a really nice sparkly pink kind of iridescent color and I'm definitely going to be keeping this now with the MAC paint pots um, I have to wear an eye primer underneath it or put an eyeshadow over it for it to last on my oily eyelids. So I can't wear it alone, but I definitely can like find uses for this because it is kind of, even though it's sparkly and pink, it is a neutral. So I feel like I can find looks that go with this and it's max. So I feel like I kind of have to keep it and I want to maybe try and use this up. So I'm going to be keeping this as well. Next, we're moving on to powder eyeshadows. So first of all, all of these palettes here, these are all of my naked palettes. I'm definitely going to be keeping all of these. I definitely want to do a video comparison of all four of these naked palettes. So if you guys are interested in a video like that, then thumbs up this video or leave a comment down below. But I'm definitely going to be keeping all of my naked palettes. They're all wonderful. I'm kind of a collector of them. So I'm definitely going to be keeping those. Here I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I just got this for Christmas in 2015. It is a gorgeous palette and it smells like chocolate. So I am definitely going to be keeping that. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And again, I just got this in 2015. And I really want to, I haven't used this a lot, but this is really great for hooded eyes, which is what I have. And it's an all matte palette. So I am definitely going to be keeping this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler Shadow Couture Palette that came out this fall in 2015. I am keeping this. Uh, despite that I actually don't really like these eyeshadows that well, I know that so many people on YouTube rave about these eyeshadows. I mean, they're all right quality, but I just feel like they're not as good. I feel like these mattes are pretty good, Soft Peach, Morocco, and Fudge. They're great, but I feel like some of these other eyeshadows are just a little patchy for me and hard to, for me to blend. I just feel like they're not as good of quality that everybody says there are. This is pink champagne. Now it looks really pigmented there, but that's because I like dug my finger really hard into it. Like, I don't know. Of course that looks pretty now, but I just feel like, let's see if I can swatch another one. It's metallic. With your fingers, they swatch really well, but I just feel like on the eyes, they like, they sometimes look good, but I just feel like they're not as easy to blend like these are just not my favorite formula of eyeshadows but I'm going to keep this you know for future comparisons and whatnot and I know that this palette isn't really sold anymore but I kind of want to do a video about it because I just feel like so many people are raving about Anastasia or Anastasia eyeshadows but I just feel like they're they're not my favorite quality of eyeshadows so but I'm gonna keep it nonetheless because I mean they are really pretty colors for fall so I'm going to keep it even though it's not my favorite formula. These are my two Lorac palettes. This is the Lorac Pro palette and this is the Unzipped. Uh, I love the Pro palette. I actually would suggest getting the Pro palette over the Naked One palette. You have every eyeshadow you could possibly need in this palette. Like they have a row of mattes and a row of shimmers. This palette is wonderful and worth all the hype it gets. I am definitely keeping that. And then this is the Unzipped, which is the rose gold kind of pink toned palette. And this palette is again really awesome. It's not the pro formula, so it's not the same as the uh, the eyeshadows in the Lorac Pro. But again, they're still very good quality eyeshadows and I love the tones in this palette. It's just very beautiful. So I'm going to be keeping that as well. So I basically kept all of my palettes, but that's okay. I expected that. So here are all of the rest of the powder eyeshadows I have to go through. So we'll start with an easy one. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. 
I'm definitely keeping this such a great uh, palette that you can kind of pair with other palettes if you need matte shades. So I'm definitely keeping that. I talked about this earlier, but this is Wet n Wild's Walking on Eggshells palette. Definitely keeping this. Uh, this is Wet n Wild Silent Treatment. I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Sorry about the dog. Um, but this works well with that uh, Mally Twilight eyeshadow stick, so I'm definitely keeping that. Speaking of Wet n Wild, I also have the Comfort Zone palette, and I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Wet n Wild just has really good quality eyeshadows for very inexpensive. They are so great, and they're like dirt cheap. Like I think this was $4.99. And these are $2.99 each, so such great deal for such great quality eyeshadows. These are my L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows that I own. This one is in Burst into Bloom, which I used in my L'Oreal One Brain tutorial. I love this, so I'm going to keep that. And then I also have Amber Rush here, which is gorgeous. It's like pretty champagne rose gold color, so I'm definitely going to be keeping those two for sure. This eyeshadow is from Kiko, and it's in the number 139 or shade 139. It's just a pretty kind of natural champagne with a little hint of pink in it. It's a very pretty color, and I definitely want to be trying uh, a lot of Kiko products because they are actually a European brand. They're based out of Italy, and I've been to Italy, so I have a little bit of an emotional tie to Kiko. I didn't buy anything when I was in Italy there, so I mean, I've went into the store, some of the stores that were there in Italy, but I never bought anything from there. I actually bought this one in a store in Miami, Florida. So there's no Kiko around where I live, but I definitely want to try more Kiko products, and I know you can order some of their things online. And again, that emotional tie to Italy I have with this brand. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this eyeshadow, and it's very good quality. I'll actually swatch it really fast for you. So that's the Kiko eyeshadow right there. It's just a beautiful neutral champagne color, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Here I have the Urban Decay uh, Duo Eyeshadow Pan in Half Baked and Twice Baked. And I got this in a Sephora Summer Favorites kit. And the Urban Decay eyeshadows are just, you cannot beat them. They're amazing. And this is actually a really great travel eyeshadow duo. I took this with me uh, on vacation this summer. And it was a really great, you know, travel duo. Especially for the summer because of this gold color. And this twice baked color is really beautiful. So I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Another thing I'm for sure going to be keeping is this CoverGirl Trio in Shimmering Sands, and it is a great drugstore trio, especially if you're just starting out in makeup. It's just really beautiful. It's not the most pigmented thing in the world, but it's just very beautiful shades, and it's very neutral and natural for every day, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that. I'm also going to be keeping this NARS Christopher Kane duo in Parallel Universe. This was so hard to get, and the Christopher Kane collection was just very raved about. Sorry, that was really hard to open, but it's just, they're very beautiful colors. It's a nice kind of icy lavender purple, and then this is kind of a champagne-y pink color. It's just very beautiful. I didn't get my hands on that single eyeshadow that was in this collection, but I kind of liked these a little bit more, but they're just very beautiful, and I need to use this a lot more, and as you can see, it still has that NARS film kind of over the eyeshadows, but I'm definitely going to be keeping this, and I want to use it more. Here I have this Bare Minerals eyeshadow duo in the 15 minutes. So it has two eyeshadow colors. My mom actually passed this down to me. And it just comes with two really pretty duo eyeshadows. This is kind of a really pretty pink color. And this is kind of a brown mauve color that you can put in the crease. Now I'm kind of debating about keeping this because I've used it before but I don't absolutely love it. Okay, so these are the two colors right here. I just feel like they're very beautiful and pigmented. Um, that's the brown shade, and that's super pigmented, and that's the pink. I just feel like I have a lot in my collection like this. They're very beautiful and pigmented, but I don't use it that much. I think I'm going to pass it on, but I'll put it in the maybe for now, but I think I might pass this on because I feel like there will somebody be somebody out there who will use this and love this more than me. So I think I'm possibly thinking about passing this on. I'm not 100% sure I'm passing it on, but I'm going to put it in that pile for now. So we'll see. So next here I have my Z palette that's full of MAC eyeshadows. Now I only have four MAC eyeshadows, but I think that is plenty for how much I have. This one is Gleam. This is my oldest MAC eyeshadow. I honestly should get rid of this, but I, um, unless it's really old and I can't use it, I'm going to keep it. And this is All That Glitters, which is a really beautiful lid shade. 
This is sable, I think. Let me look. Yeah, it's sable, which is really beautiful. And then this is satin taupe. So they are basic classic MAC color. So I'm going to be keeping this. And this Z palette is very handy and nice. So I actually have a big Z palette and a small one. So very handy. Definitely going to be keeping both the Z palette and the eyeshadows. Here I have the Smashbox. This is an eyeshadow palette from the holidays. It's called On the Rocks and it's the photo op eyeshadow palette and I got it for Christmas not in 2015 but I think in either 2014 or 2013. But um, this is what the palette looks like. They came out with a bigger uh, palette for the holidays that year too but this is the smaller one and I actually feel like I like the liked the colors in this one better. Now as you can see it almost looks brand new. Like I've barely used it. But I kind of I'm thinking about keeping this because it has colors in here that I don't really have singles of, like this navy blue and this emerald green, but it also has some neutrals mixed in there too. Right now, I am def I'm thinking about keeping it, but I still have the box for this in case I do want to give it away or sell it or something. For now, I am going to be keeping this palette, and it's a really nice sized palette. It's not too big, not too small. It's kind of a small square shape, so I'm going to be keeping this. This is probably one of the oldest things in my collection. This is a L'Oreal quad in autumn leaves and this is actually discontinued but for me it still works. It's, I really should you know toss this because it's so old but the colors still work and there's a couple mattes in here and then two shimmers. It's just a really nice palette and I actually again use this in my L'Oreal tutorial so I will again have a card or link it down below and these shadows still work great. Well the mattes aren't super pigmented but the shimmers are still very pigmented and it still feels fairly new and it doesn't feel like it's old. Um, but yeah, with the mattes you can barely see it. Like that like beige you can barely see because it matches my skin tone. And that matte brown is not super pigmented. So I don't know. I think I might put this in the giveaway pile because I have so many other colors like this. So I think I might put this um, in the maybe or, you know, toss pile. So that's what I'm thinking for now. But Again, we'll see. Okay, so now let's go on to some of my sample eyeshadows. So this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Duo that I got in my Play by Sephora box. And it's just really pretty neutral colors. So I think I'm going to be keeping this. And it's just a really great small travel size palette. It even has a mirror in it. So I'm going to be keeping this for now since it's new. This is the Coastal Sense Style Eyes eyeshadow sampler that I got in my Birch box. And it just has a really pretty rose gold and a matte nude color. Now, I just, again, got this too. I've only swatched it. So I want to try it on my eyes and see how it works. So for now, I'm going to keep it. But if I don't like it or I don't like it on my eyelids, then I'm going to be passing this on. But for now, I'm going to keep it. Here I have another sample thing from Coastal Scents. And it's the Revealed Palette Sampler that I, again, got in my birch box quite a while ago. And so these are the colors in it. It just comes with a really pretty kind of silvery neutral lid color, a matte brown, a purple, and a matte black. So it really has a great selection of colors, but I kind of want to pass this on because I don't use it that much and I've had it for a while. So they're really beautiful colors, but I just don't use it that often. And they're a really nice quality. I just, I just don't use them that much. So I, for now, I think I might pass these on for now. I don't know. We'll see. Again, with some of the things I'm passing on, I'm just not really sure or 100% sure if I'm passing them on. So this is going to go in that same pile. This is a Maybelline eyeshadow quad in Olive Martini, and this was limited edition, and I actually used this in my Maybelline tutorial, which I will link or put a card up. I am going to be keeping this for now. Um, again, it's limited edition, so that makes me want to keep it more, but also this eyeshadow is a dupe for Club and for A Color in the Wet and Wild eye palette, so that can be great for comparisons and stuff. And I also just want to use it more it's not a palette that I use because the colors are a little bit crazy, but I definitely want to get my use out of it and see if I can use it. So for now, I'm going to keep it, but if I use it and just really end up not liking it that much, I'm going to pass it on. Also, these are just, these are really great quality eyeshadows from the drugstore, so. Okay, so the last thing I have here in terms of powder eyeshadow are the eyeshadows that are in my Z palette. So I'm just going to go through these really fast. These are all of my Inglot this is Makeup Forever, this is Stila, these are L'Oreal, this is Benefit, this is CoverGirl. I am definitely going to be keeping this CoverGirl eyeshadow. This is in the color Champagne. This is a really 
old Benefit eyeshadow that I depotted. And this is in the shade Fancy Pansy. So, and it's a really pretty color, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that. This is Makeup Forever M600. I absolutely love this eyeshadow, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that for sure. Oh my gosh. And then this is Steal a Kitten, which is also gorgeous, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Now, for the L'Oreal shadows, I depotted these, and I so wish I didn't depot these because I totally would just get rid of them, pass them on for sure. But maybe I can still pass them on when they're in the pans. I think I might just do that. So, because I have so many shades, especially like this. I have so many matte blacks. I don't have a ton of dark purples like this. So maybe I'll just keep this purple one. I don't know for now. And I have, you know, so many like that. I have so many matte blacks. And I don't have a lot of silvers, but I can't think of like a single silver eyeshadow that I have. But I know that I have a lot in palettes and stuff that I probably could find. I'm for sure probably going to get rid of these three. Maybe this one. I'm kind of debating. Uh, maybe I'll just get rid of this one. So I'm going to get rid of these four eyeshadows. Okay, so all we have left now are my Ingla eyeshadows. Now these three that are neutral, I'm definitely going to be keeping. They're all very beautiful. Now it's just these two that are in question. Okay, so these are the two that I'm kind of thinking about getting rid of. I really wish I still had the packaging for these because these did come in a pan like this from Inglot. And Inglot has really amazing eyeshadows and they have so many different colors. I've barely used these like at all. Um, especially this blue color. So I think I'm going to be passing on this one for sure because I just like barely use it. And I always think about, you know, I'm going to use it for like in the summer or for under the lash line. But I have eyeliners for that, and I don't really do it that often. So I think I'm going to pass this on. It's a beautiful color, but I never use it, so I'm going to pass it on. And this purple eyeshadow, I'm kind of debating because I like purple, and it looks really good on my eyes, but I, like, again, don't use this that much. I think I might keep this purple eyeshadow for now, and if I don't use it, I'm definitely going to get rid of it. And I think it will go with this purple eyeshadow right here. Or just like, it's just good to have a couple purple eyeshadows, you know, that can kind of go together well. So I think I'm going to be keeping this one. Okay, so these are all of the eyeshadow products that I am keeping. Cream eyeshadows, powder eyeshadows, eye primers. These are all the ones that I'm keeping. And these are all the ones that I am thinking about or going to give away or maybe keep in a products I regret buying video or getting video. So I know this looks, again, super pitiful to this. I just feel like with my decluttering collection, I've noticed a pattern where I'm not getting rid of as much. I think the reason that I'm keeping so many different products is because I watch YouTube. I research a lot about the makeup products that I want to buy, and I really do think before I buy, like 90% of the time. So that's why I'm keeping a lot of these things, because they are all such good products. And I do videos now, which is kind of weird that I'm a YouTuber now, that's crazy. So it is good to keep a lot of these products for comparisons and stuff, especially those naked palettes for sure, but I love the naked palettes, so, you know, I'm keeping them for good reason. But that's just another reason that I'm keeping quite a lot of this stuff and getting rid of just that much. Anyways, I know it didn't look like I get rid of, got rid of a lot, but this is what I use, and I generally use this, use these things or want to like use some of these things up because I really do like some of this stuff. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this decluttering video. Um, I really hope that you're liking my decluttering videos so far. Please let me know down below. And I will also have a playlist of these makeup decluttering videos. I will have that in the description box down below. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video, and again, comment down below. I also will have all of my social media links and usernames done in the description box below. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone!